Greetings, Leo, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. How are you? And I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I'm offering you today this timeless reading for Leo. And this is what you need to know right now. So let's jump right in, Leo. And I invite you to bring your own uh, question, curiosity, or inquiry to this reading so that way you can be actively participating with each of the cards and bringing your own intuition. And let's see how the story for my Leo is unfolding. Opportunity and change. Well, this is the um, meaning of the reading. This is what you're focusing on, opportunity and change. That is what you're coming to this timeless reading about. And look at this beautiful um, angel coming, offering you something very bright, very healing, very productive. And it's coming and it's coming or connected to the new moon, which we're coming into soon. And so bringing that fresh energy to some new opportunity that's on the horizon, Leo. And let's see, what is it that the angel and oral oracles want you to know as your affirmations for this reading? And thank you, spirit guides, for being here with my Leo, my bright Leo, my fiery Leo, thank you so much, spirit guides, for this affirmation. Evolution. Well, the number 23 could be important for you, Leo, at this time as you come into this reading. Three, two and three is five, and that's a number of change, your quick change, sudden change, and you're evolving. And look at that green light around you. It's swirling around, and these are your affirmations to bring to um, the reading. And the theme of this reading is evolution, and the um, way you're um, coming into the reading is asking about some opportunity and change that's coming. These are your um, affirmation words, empowerment, transformations, protection, and you're prepared for something to come. And be careful about the shadow side, Leo, of um, being caught up in anxiety, of being shocked by something unexpected, of being distracted and resisting what is coming. But you're evolving, evolution. And so let's jump right in, Leo, to your tarot reading. And Spirit Guides, thank you so much for being here. And let us know what exactly, precisely, that my Leo needs to know right now for this reading. What is it that you bring here, Leo, that you're asking, uh, desiring some information on? you need help with. And Spirit Guides, thank you so much for bringing just the right card for my Leo. And so it is. And Leo, this is how you see the situation. Wow, well the Hierophant jumps right off the bat and that's the number five too. So it's saying five is important. Some significant change and you've got opportunity and change um, coming. And so, Leo, bring your attention to the Hierophant. Is there a, somewhere right now that you're needing to look at your belief systems and your deep values? Maybe your religious tradition, because this has um, been associated with the Pope. So it's a higher authority. Maybe you're turning to a religious authority, uh, trying to get guidance. But also this could be uh, that you're seeking a teacher someone you respect or has a lot of wisdom and that's how you're seeing the question also the higher font can come in on the stage as this is how you see your um your the situation you're in is needing to follow something by the book uh, go for um things the more um <clears throat> traditional way and that could be what is being um advised as you enter the question and this is the challenge the challenge to the Hierophant is 
the queen of swords. This is um, whether you're a man or a woman, genders are fluid, but it's this feminine energy of using um, the higher mind, using that deep intuition that cuts through and can see the truth of something and knows what's right for you, uh, Leo, as you approach this question. And it's saying what challenges um, doing things by the book is this um, <clears throat> queen bringing her a bigger view of something. She sits up high in the clouds um, on her throne and she can uh, see things uh, with a good um, vantage point. Um, she's honest, she's truthful, she uses her mind. That could be a challenge. And uh, at the foundation, what you can't see about this question, what is out of your uh, view of awareness at this moment is uh, the need <clears throat> to move inward. Introspection at the foundation. Is there something that you need to take some time, Leo, to go inward and reflect upon? Um, is there something that you're trying right now to gain some higher knowledge about within yourself and might take um, you going on a, a retreat, uh, taking some time off to go inward and follow your lantern, follow that star within. And um, as you see, Leo, you already have two major arcana within three cards. Uh, so this is um, saying that whatever this timeless reading as it comes to you, Leo, it's very important. It's a significant reading. Um, these are significant um, times and um, advice to go inward and also to use your uh, higher belief systems and to look at what you're committed to and to, um, as above, so below, bring that higher wisdom, your higher mind down to your uh, situation. Because what just passed is um, the emperor, another major arcana, Leo. The emperor is, he sits on his throne, that's number four, and then you're going to number five. So there's a lot of <clears throat> a progression, but the emperor is like uh, the um, earthly version of the hierophant. And that is ruled by Aries, as the hierophant is ruled by Taurus which is of the earth and of um, building things solid in the earth. And the emperor is also that um, energy, but it brings this fiery uh, passion and power to go after what you want. So it's saying that in the recent past, Leo, you felt like you were the boss. You've been um, sitting and managing your life very well in all the domains. Um, and or you have been in the past dealing with an authority figure because you've got these two very um, significant authority figures or people that are well respected. And one is in more of the re religious or uh, belief systems and other is how you're managing um, everything in your life. But it, um, they're both very um, associated with uh, the patriarch or father figures or authorities that you um, look up to. And at the crown, uh, you're victorious. Wow, Leo, you're riding into this question, into this timeless reading, a uh, successful. You see, you have the, your wreath, wreath of victory and there are people around you recognizing you. You're in the spotlight, you're in your high horse. You have worked hard and been very successful at the um, crown. That's the outcome of this reading is going to be success and recognition. And you're um, returning from something triumphant. And right now you need to be aware of <clears throat> the work you have put into something. Um, you have maybe been uh, working on a goal for many um, years, seven years, or a project or something creative that you've been bringing down to earth and making real. But you're looking at that um, uh, and saying, is this um, really satisfying? Do I feel like I want to keep working at this job or at this goal or this project? Or um, would I like to take this one uh, pentacle and move on? 
um, plant it in a different kind of soil, uh, work in a different kind of way. And with this uh, opportunity and change card, it makes me um, see for you, Leo, it indicates that there will be a change and you will be re-evaluating um, something in terms of your work, in terms of your assets, and that's in the present. And what is coming as you see yourself in this question is um, juggling the ups and downs of life. You see these ships on the water in the background, uh, they're able to go up and down these waves and uh, stay afloat. And this um, figure has the um, figure eight um, symbolizing the infinity sign and how life is infinitely uh, requiring us to juggle our time and our energy, our relationships at work, our relationships with our family and friends, our creative projects and our um, external duties. And so you're blending those. You're saying, I, this is how I see myself. I am doing a good job with this. I am being flexible. I am being able to manage. Um, and your environment is saying, uh, the environment around you is, um, maybe someone in your environment is recovering from an illness, um, is taking time out to uh, rehab or um, to heal and rest and renew and rejuvenate. Um, your environment is one where it's needing to rest and go inward, uh, take time out, a truce from maybe troubling energies and saying, I'm resting, I'm uh, downloading information from my higher mind through prayer and meditation. But it's saying, um, Leo, as you come into this timeless reading, uh, let that environment rest. Let it renew. And um, your hope and fear is the king of wands. Well, that you will have this power, this passion, this leadership to go for your uh, desires and ambitions. You might be, uh, because this is in the position of your hope and fear, and you've got this opportunity and change and your e evolution, that it's indicating that there could be a new job. You might be starting to work um, from home on your own or have your own business or be an entrepreneur, do something very creative with your passion. And as you come to the advice, it's saying, um, the three of pentacles where you're working hard on something and you're collaborating. Uh, you could be um, working on a creative project uh, that you, um, your hope and fear is this, this is going to be successful and I'm going to be able to um, manage and lead this project and um, collaborate. I have a community of other people around me, art, artists or uh, musicians or craftspeople or builders, but it's you're working on something and you're getting recognition. Uh, it could be something with the home or uh, just an, um, going out and having that recognition and standing above the rest because you have um, a creative talent. You're very good at something. And so this is um, a very clear and powerful reading for you, Leo. And so let's recap you are the emperor. Uh, that is <clears throat> saying that that is what has happened in the recent past, but um, as you approach this question, your idea or thought about it is something in the realm of the Hierophant, a religious authority, evaluating your beliefs, Leo, um, also making a commitment that could entail looking at your higher um, belief systems or how higher values and making a commitment to that. Um, also, it could say you're going through an initiation, but at the um, way you should approach this um, question that you're bringing today is with a, going by the book, doing it the traditional way, um, because that is how you're presenting yourself. And uh, the Queen of Swords is a challenge uh, that um, to use that quick mind to stand above things, to look at things from um, uh, an overview, 
to be able to analyze mentally and with your intelligence and make a right decision and also be the challenges um, if you're doing things by the book or if there is um, this um, respected teacher or authority that is part of this question, it's saying you're going to have to approach it with truth and clarity and be willing to stand up for what you really value and really want. Because at the foundation, it's saying you might be going away, taking time off, going on a journey, a spiritual retreat, uh, to download this energy of the star from your lantern. And you're learning. You're um, taking it step by step. You see, uh, this um, indicates a lot of wisdom, an ability to go in on your own, the ability to know yourself, and to have that self-understanding. And that's what you might not be able to see right at this moment, is out of your um, consciousness. But what has um, just happened is the emperor. Well, you might have in the recent past just felt like you were a ruler of the, your world, managing everything, being very powerful, uh, very confident, being able to use your mind to uh, reason and think through things with your intelligence, but also being um, able to uh, use that intuition and drive and passion to go for your ambitious goals and also to uh, sit on the throne and bring things down to a reality, to really um, work on something. And that's what's been going on in your recent past. And the advice um, or as the, uh, the <clears throat> object of this uh, reading, the goal is uh, the six of wands, success, victory. Um, you've overcome something. You've gone through the war and you're still there riding on your horse. And people are recognizing you. People who've gone through this uh, battles of life with you are celebrating you. So this is a powerful moment for you, Leo. And what's coming is um, after that victory as the goal is some time of uh, reevaluating what you have worked on looking at the quality of your work, what you have grown, what you've produced, um, what you are known for, uh, what you've brought down to earth, and it's saying, um, is this what I really want to do anymore? Is this bringing me uh, the um, abundance I want? I have a lot right here, but do I want to keep going right here or grow somewhere different? And you're juggling as you see yourself as um, embedded in this uh, question. You are having to manage um, daily life, work and play, relationships and duties, and moving through those and knowing that it's important in life that we can be flexible with our finances and with our health and with our energy and with the things we uh, work on in life. And you're doing that, Leo. And your environment around you is perhaps recovering from something, taking a time out. Uh, these are uh, times to rest and renew, to uh, get clarity on something through dreaming and letting the mind um, kind of percolate and bring up uh, thoughts or feelings that you can offer up and get help from your ancestors at this time. And that's what your environment or the people you are working with or living with or people in your family or your loved one is going through. And the King of Wands is your hope and fear. It's like saying, I hope I'll be charismatic and an entrepreneur and fiery and confident and um, go for what I want. But that's the fear is, will I be able to use my energy or will I just... Um, you know, talk about a lot of the things I want to do and uh, be all energized, but not really take that step to move into it. But because at the advice is to work on it and keep working on the skills you have and the, you're being recognized and you also are uh, being very successful. So it's saying you will, as you come to uh, the advice and of this question that you're coming to, um, collaboration, working with others, being recognized for your skill, 
and um, a lot of um, energy putting into your work, but new opportunities and change is on the horizon for my Leos in this question you brought, as well as evolution. You're evolving and changing, and that brings new opportunities when we're able to do that. And so let's bring one uh, fairy message, because the fairies are those gentle creatures that are in our peripheral vision, and they know just what we need, what we're thinking, and this is the gift they have for you, Leo, right now as you're watching this. Practice, practice, practice. Wow, well, this is a card of working at something and practicing and, you know, standing above the rest, but you're working on something. And this says, um, practice, practice, practice. And look at the beautiful um, unicorn and that uh, road that leads on is similar to this swirling green energy of evolution. As you go into this, and it's just saying their gift to you, Leo, is with daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. So it's saying with this new opportunity and change, really take time as your advice to work on something and work in collaboration and practice every day. And you will grow stronger and your confidence will build as you do that, Leo. So I so enjoy seeing you and um, thank you so much for watching this reading and coming to Ingrid's Insights. And if you like the way I read, please subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up. But I'm also very curious, Leo, this is such a dynamic reading and you've got the emperor and the hierophant and the hermit and you're moving into this opportunity and change and being advised to practice and practice and practice as you're evolving and your confidence will shine. And so you know I love you, Leo, and we're in this interconnected field together of growing and learning and evolving into our highest and best. And so thank you for being along with this journey with me. And to see you next time. Bye-bye, Leo.